Hi, this is question 9 from the AQA Core 2 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to see if you can try the question or bits of the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and do that. Okay, well done if you've managed to have a go at that. The next part of the question, I'm sorry, the next part of the video, I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the questions. Okay, so um, for part A, um, we need to write down the two solutions of um, the equation here. Um, well, there's one that looks obvious that you should be able to spot. Um, and the other one, well, we're given this range between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So you want to think about what the pattern is in the tan graph and how that pattern is going to help you find further solutions. For part B, it says describe a single geometrical transformation that maps the graph um, y equals tan x onto this graph y is equal to tan x plus 30. So think about um, what the x has been replaced with over here and um, what type of transformation that is first of all for one mark and um, what the actual transformation um, is for the other mark okay so you want to know the type of transformation and then actually the details of the transformation okay um, part C um, we're given this here equation and we want to show that cos theta is equal to three quarters. So um, at the moment we've got a mixture of sine and cosine in this equation. And we want to show that cos theta is equal to something. So um, I suspect that we would need to turn this into something that just involved um, cosines. So this sine squared theta um, you may be able to use um, one of the trig identities that you've learned um, in order to um, change that into something that's in terms of cos theta um, and then go ahead and, and, and try and solve the equation. Part 2 it says hence solve the um, equation uh, this one here um, in this interval well this equation and this equation are similar um, instead of theta here we've got 2x so you may be able to use the fact that you've worked out that cos theta is equal to 3 quarters and apply that to this equation here okay those are my hints um, if you'd like to um, pause the video now and have a go at the question for yourself Okay, for the next part of the video, I'm going to go through the full solutions to, to each of these questions. So, starting with um, question A, um, we had the tan of x plus 30 is equal to the tan of 79. So, I can start by saying, well, I know that um, x plus 30 is going to be equal to 79. Okay, so... Um, also, uh, because the tan graph repeats itself every 180 degrees, that means that the tan of 79 degrees is also the same as the tan of um, 180 plus 79 degrees, so 259 degrees. So that means this bit here must also be equal to 259 degrees. So I can say that x plus 30 degrees is also equal to 259 degrees because the tan of 79 degrees is the same as the tan of 259 degrees. I could add on another 180 degrees but that would take me outside of my range. So I can now say that um, well x is going to be equal to whoops, 49 degrees and I've got that from 30 off both sides so that's going to be 229 um, degrees as well so those are going to be my two solutions that I'm looking for okay part B 
it says describe a single geometrical transformation that maps tan x onto tan of x plus 30 well x has been replaced with x plus 30 so that tells me it's a translation and it's a translation and it's going to be moving in the negative x direction by 30 degrees so it's going to be negative 30 degrees in the x direction and there's no movement in the y direction so that's going to be um, zero so we would say it's a translation of um, I, I shouldn't actually have that there so minus 30 and zero okay um, part C says given that 5 plus sine squared theta is equal to um, 5 plus 3 cos theta times by cos theta um, we want to show that cos theta is, is equal to 3 quarters now um, we said th earlier that we wanted to um, get all of this in terms of cos theta so I want to replace this um, using my identity um, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1 so that means that sine squared theta must be equal to 1 take away cos squared theta so I'm going to re I'm going to replace that with that there so I'm going to write this as 5 plus and it's going to be 1 take away cos squared theta and that's going to be equal to, and I'm going to multiply this out here, so we're going to have 5 cos theta plus 3 cos squared theta. Now, um, you may spot that this is um, a quadratic equation, so I'm, I'm just going to um, put everything onto one side and make it equal to 0, so I'll have 4 cos squared theta over there, plus 5 cos theta. And 5 plus 1 is 6, so and take that off, so it'll be take away 6 is equal to 0. I then want to factorise this. So, um, so we're going to have 4 cos theta and cos theta over here. And um, so we'll have the negative 2 negative so sorry plus 2 and take away 3 there so let's just check that 4 cos squared theta plus 8 cos theta take away 3 cos theta which is 5 cos theta and take away 6 is equal to um, 0 um, and just to revisit the question we're showing that cos theta is equal to 3 quarters um, and we can see, and in fact, we could we could probably use this to help us with our factorising in some way as well. But this shows us that um, on this bracket here, we've got cos theta is equal to three quarters. And from this one here, we would get cos theta is equal to minus two. But because um, the range for for the cosine graph is between negative one and one, um, that wouldn't actually be a solution. So. Um, we would ignore that part of the solution and we would just have cos theta is equal to 3 quarters. Okay, so those are our five marks there. Now, um, I'll just come over here. Okay, part D. So it's saying hence solve this equation here in the interval 0, x, and 2 pi. Now, um, we know that cos theta is equal to 3 quarters and this equation is the same as this one where theta is 2x so that means we can use the result cos 2x must be equal to 3 quarters okay and I'm just going to have a temporary range here because I'm going to say well if x is between 0 and 2 pi uh, that means that um, 2x is going to be between 0 and and 4 pi okay so um, I can now um, 
use my calculator to work out what 2x is and we want to be careful because we want this to be in radians and to three significant figures so using my calculator um, I can see that 2x is going to be equal to um, 0 0.7 Two, two, seven, three. Okay, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of my solutions for 2x in between um, 0 and 4 pi. Um, and over here, I'm just going to jot down what 4 pi is of the decimal, um, just so I know if I've gone outside of my limit. So over here, um, 4 pi is roughly equal to um, 12.6 roughly equal to 12.6 radians ok so 2x is equal to that there um, I can also do 2x is equal to um, and because it's a cosine graph um, I'm going to have um, using my symmetry of my cosine graph I can say that 2x is going to be equal to 2 pi take away 0 0.72273 which is 5.56045 ok so that's still within my range Okay, um, so those are my um, two, or two of my solutions. I can now get further solutions by adding multiples of 2 pi onto both of these. So if I add 2 pi to the first one, this is because the cosine graph has a period of 2 pi. Um, that will give me... So... Um, I'm doing 0 0.72273 plus 2 pi and that's going to give me 0 0.059 and I'm also going to add 2 pi to this solution here so I'm going to have 5.56045 plus 2 pi and that's going to give me 11.8436 ok and that's still within my range um, and if, if my range was, was bigger I could carry on adding multiples of 2 pi but I can straight away see that this is going to be um, the, the less solution right so um, my actual range is um, between um, well x has got to be between 0 and 2 pi um, and I'm going to divide each of these by 2 so um, I'll have x is equal to and I do that divided by 2 and I'm going to write these to three significant figures so that's going to be 0 0.361 and I've also got x is equal to uh, divide that one by 2 and I've got 2.78 and this one divided by 2 is 3.50 radians and finally this one here is going to be 5.92 and there you go, those are my four um, possible solutions uh, uh, for X. Okay, um, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for joining me um, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.